Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up thank you. Sivasago PD Patrick John Fluger as Adam Ruzik. Adam Ruzik, Patrick John Fluger, was one of the most important characters of Chicago PD season 10. He drove a handful of the season's biggest storylines, so it was genuinely shocking when got shot in the stomach during the home stretch of the final. Ruzik was in bad shape during the closing moments of the season, and generally speaking, one Chicago likes to highlight a given character if they know that the character will eventually be written out of the show. Basically, there was good reason to fear whether or not Ruzik would live to see another episode. Chicago PD Patrick John Fluger as Adam Ruzik Marina Squirtiati as Kim Burgess. We're thrilled to confirm that Ruzik is alive, if not entirely well. His near-death experience was recapped during the episode's opening montage, but it was Hank Voigt, Jason Bake, and not Ruzik, who was recalling it. There was a brief moment where it seemed as though Ruzik was out of commission for good, especially when Trudy Platt, Amy Morton, shows up and tells Voigt that he has to select a new member of the IU to replace Ruzik. Thankfully, the camera cuts to Ruzik in the middle of a jog. Ruzik is healthy enough to take physical action, which makes sense, given that the show picks up six months after the events of the season 10 final, but the road to recovery has not been an easy one. It seems that the veteran officer has struggled to get his edge back in the field, and has failed his power test multiple times since being cleared for duty. C.I. Sago P.D. Patrick John Fluger as Adam Ruzik. It's my ego that's hurting, he tells Kevin Atwater, Leroyce Hawkins. While it's difficult to fault Ruzik for his rehabilitation struggles, the time away has caused some problems for the IU. There's pressure on Voight to find a replacement, as we learn from Trudy. Apparently, the IU is not supposed to go for six months without a vacancy, which is exactly what it's done on the heels of Ruzik's shooting and Dan Torres, Benjamin Levy Aguilar, being sent away. The chief needs to know that your team is moving on, Trudy insists. Interestingly enough, the episode ends without a clear resolution. Ruzik remains on the mend, and Voight fails to appoint a new member of the IU. Instead, the commanding officer pays a visit to Haley Upton, Tracy Spiridakos, and shares a genuine moment of uncertainty with her. Ruzik's involvement in the rest of the season seems like a foregone conclusion, but it does seem like a big part of his arc is going to revolve around his physical recovery and the struggles he encounters while trying to rejoin the team. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our Chicago Pete official channel and stay with us.